still said I needed to brush my face. What do you do when you have a long, long beard? Does it look like pubes? What are your thoughts on this beard? I want to know. Protein. You gotta get a shake in us. Crystal just had a workout and I'm hungry, so let's go to Whole Foods. Actually, let's go to Ralph's. It's closer. You get all the ingredients for a fitlife.tv protein shake. Because I know that's what you want. Let's go. Well, I'm a huge fan of putting greens in my protein shakes. I love spinach, kale, even collard greens. It's a good time. You know, the ancient Egyptians used to use cacao and they would drink it in the morning and then they'd have energy all day long because of this cacao plant. Cacao is actually the antioxidant side of cocoa plant. So it's amazing health benefits. We're gonna put a little bit of that in there today too. Next up, we're gonna put some cashew nuts because they're high in fat and we need good fat to lose fat. Get six packs. We just had a little bit of a workout too, so we wanna increase our insulin up so that the protein synthesis actually helps out with the muscle building and we're gonna use a half a banana for that, so we're gonna put that in a protein shake as well. As our liquid, we're gonna use coconut and almond milk. Coconut almond? Coconut almond, it's gonna be a hybrid. And then last, but certainly not least, we're gonna put a little cinnamon in there. Amazing health benefits. It's gonna help control your blood sugar all day long. And we're gonna do it. So let's, let's get on with the show, let's go into Ralph's. You cannot put those in the protein shake. Blessed. There is coconut almond milk. You didn't believe me. I didn't believe him. I thought he was full of crap. I was like, Drew, why are you being us? Yes, me, getting excited. It exists. And it's amazing. It is. It's awesome. Very ready to rock this out. 45 calories. Boom. I'm gonna celebrate being alive. Blessed. All right, so as you can see with the peanut butter, it should only say peanuts and salt in the back. If it says anything else whatsoever, for instance, palm oil, it's garbage. Always go with peanuts and salt, never with the other stuff. Not to mention any names or anything. And then here's where it really gets nasty. Planners, this guy's out to get you. Look at this, peanuts, sugar, hydrogenated vegetable oil, soybean, and other oils. AKA, the devil. The devil man. Oh, what do we have here? Rotisserie seasoned chicken. Looks pretty healthy, right? Let's turn it over. Oh my goodness. All kinds of preservative, nitrates, things to keep this good, sodium phosphates. Listen, if it wasn't around 10,000 years ago, should not be eating it. Bye bye, Oscar Mayer. In a nutshell, in a nutshell, I like to call this perimeter shopping. Because if you see this, it's like the game, what's the game with the, the mice? They used to run up ladders, shoots and ladders or something like that as a kid who used to play it. Regardless, when you shop in the grocery store, you want to stay in the perimeter and you want to avoid these little deposits on the end, except for the water, obviously. But as you can tell, like the Frito. They put all of the junk food out to trap you. So you want to stay where the produce is and where the you know organic meats and everything like that is. I don't go anywhere else in the store because I know you know food cravings kick For in and me, all kinds of stuff. So. Adventures there you have it. Right here at the gift card mall. Before I plan anything, Ready? I'll like Let's get out of here. Let's make this shake. So, we put a little bit of almond and coconut milk in here. We're gonna put half a banana. It's a little bit ripe, but it should be good. Half a banana in there like that for each of us, because Crystal and I are both gonna have a, a little protein shaky shake right here. We're gonna put a little cacao. And we have our Vega protein already in there as well. It's a really good plant-based protein. I like it. Uh, at first, you may wanna take a digestive enzyme to get used to it a little bit. And then also, we got about a tablespoon of cinnamon. Check it out. And this is the perfect protein shake. We want to add some greens. Don't be afraid to add a little bit of spinach to this. It's really going to help with the consistency. Plus, we love greens and everything. People say you should probably get six to seven servings of green a day. I think they're liars. I think you should do 10 to 15 servings a day. So... 
It doesn't have to be a lot, literally, like just this much, right? You know, wash it up a little bit before you put it in the, the juicer, the blender, I should say. So now that that's there, I want to call particular attention to this blender. You know, I love the old Blendtec so much that I had to get one of these designer series blenders. You see this? See how gorgeous it is? Kind of lights up like Star Trek. It's asking me a question. I don't know what this is all about. Maybe it's not on. Hmm. I'm a little slow when it comes to technology. And we want to make a smoothie. So basically I'm going to click this button right here. Look how elegant this is. That's enough. It completely liquidated our juicy drink here. Now the good thing about smoothies is there's a lot of fiber in here. But it takes your body a little bit longer to process all the fiber. So you go like this. Looks good, huh? Let's try this out. Mmm. Melt in your mouth. It's perfect. Amazing protein shake. We're going to leave the recipe below this video. And uh, yeah, try this protein shake out and uh, let us know what you think about the little beer here. If I should keep it, trim it up, maybe put some lightning bolts in the side of it, that might be kind of sexy. And uh, give the video a thumbs up, obviously. And uh, we're in this together. We'll see you soon.